Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends. So I want to read today Psalm 25, verses 1 to 5. And uh, listen to these words from the psalmist. Oh, Lord, I give my life to you. I trust in you, my God. Do not let me be disgraced or let my enemies rejoice in my defeat. No one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced. But disgrace comes to those who try to deceive others. Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. And all day long I put my hope in you. And so this word disgrace comes up three different times here in the text. And the psalmist seems to be very concerned about um, and calling out to God, and don't let me be disgraced. Um, one of the old uh, ancient Bible scholars and commentators uh, writes this about disgrace. It's a Hebrew word that means, here's how he describes it, uh, disgrace, that is disappointed of my hope. That's interesting. Disappointed of my hope, which will be reproachful to me and not without reflection upon thee of whose power and faithfulness I have made my boast. I love that, love that old language even. But he's talking about not being uh, put to shame uh, in the sense of being disappointed in the hope that God would have for us. And it connects it here, I don't know if you picked it up, but verses four and five to this, show me the right path, Lord, lead me on the right road. There's a connection between the, this not being ashamed, not being embarrassed, not being losing our hope really is what he's talking about because there's a connection between hope and the right path. Now here, let me read it to you finally in the Passion Translation. Um, let's read all five verses, but listen, pick this up if you will, just the heart of this, which I think comes across in the Passion so well. It says, always I lift up my soul into your presence, O Lord. Be there for me, my God, for I keep trusting in you. Don't allow my foes to gloat over me or the shame of defeat to overtake me. Could anyone be disgraced when he has entwined his heart with yours? But my foes will all be defeated and ashamed when they harm the innocent. Direct me, God, throughout my journey so I can experience your plans for my life. Reveal the life paths that are pleasing to you escort me into your truth. Take me by the hand and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. And then listen to this phrase, I have wrapped my heart into yours all day long. That's my prayer for you and for me today, that we would, uh, we would wrap our heart into God's all day long. And we would experience what the psalmist says, could anyone be disgraced when he has entwined his heart with yours? Let's entwine our hearts with Jesus today. Let's wrap our heart into his all day long. We will not be disgraced, meaning we will not be disappointment. We will not experience the disappointment of hope. And in the process, we will experience his promise to lead us on the right road and the right path that leads to a life of hope and peace and love. So let me pray for us. Lord, today we, in this devotional, we would give our devotion to you, give our hope to you, give our love to you. We do, Lord, ask for grace to wrap our hearts in yours and that, Lord, we could walk with you today in the light of your love in the land of the living and fill us with your spirit, provide for us, protect us, and we do pray you direct us, Lord, into the right road today that we might be a witness for you and, uh, and give great glory to you. Thank you in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. God bless you. Praying for you again today. Have a great one. I'll talk to you soon.